Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. Thalotis was a Thalodon agnathon that lived during the Silurian period, with fossils being discovered in Europe, Asia, and North America. Unlike various other Thalodons, species of Thalotis are not known only from scales, but from impressions in rocks. When compared to other fishes, Thalotis was very primitive. Nonetheless, it shows a development towards stronger open water swimming. Why? Due to various traits. First, Philodus's mouth was at the front of its head, suggesting that it fed from the seabed or surface. This diverges from the common, down-facing mouth seen in bottom feeders of the time. The lower lobe of the tail was extensive and well-developed, and fins gave stability, with two rudimentary pectoral flaps at the front, which could have been an angle to control pitch when swimming, and a dorsal on the back, and anal fin on the underside near the tail at the rear. These traits show that it was adapted to be an open water fish that either filtered plankton or sucked in tiny organisms as they swam forward. Even more support for this theory is the fact that it lacked the common heavy body seen in other fish genera of the time, supporting the open water lifestyle and a reliance on speed as opposed to armor for protection from predators. It was named by Agassiz in 1839. Species include Thelodus parbidens, which is the type the Lotus Cabas, the Lotus Huskinsi, the Lotus Inauditus, and a lot of other species. Some species, like the Canadian Philodus Inauditus, are thought to be comparable in size to other Thelodonts, ranging from 2 to 6 inches or 5 to 15 centimeters in length. The scales of the type species, the Lotus Parvidens, synonymous with the Lotus Macintoshi of Silurian Great Britain, in contrast, reach the size of coins. And if compared with other thalodons like Alanganelia, it would have been around 3 feet or 1 meter long. It may have possibly been a carnivore. It was between roughly 6 to almost 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimeters long. Thalodus has been found to have lived in what is now Estonia, Norway, Russia, Sweden, Lithuania, China, Canada, and the United Kingdom, which are quite a few places. It lived in marine carbonate marginal marine, lagoonal, or restricted shallow subtidal environments, and peritidal environments. It lived during the Wenlock of the late Silurian to Pragian of the Devonian, perhaps later in the Devonian, 428.2 to 409.1 million years ago. Multiple individual specimens representing Thelotus have been discovered. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and highly recommend that you check out the recent video I made on essential principles of sustainability about environmental science. It's a really cool topic and it's a good review of basic science principles. Baryonyx video incoming, it's quite a dense topic so I'm taking a long time to make the script. After that, Sarcosuchus is next. I will also make the video requested by subscribers on rangiomorphs, we'll also be exploring questions on paleontology such as why did animals begin to live on land, and other videos like prehistoric beast episodes on Glyptodon, Megatherium, and Dinotherium. Stay tuned for those. As always, this is Enchiridion, see you next time.